and our first order of business is going to be creating the pages. So we're all going to be sitting within the source folder, and we already have two folders. One is going to be data. The second one is going to be an image. So why don't we create another folder? And maybe for this, I will going to zoom in and not over there for some reason or not. For some reason, obviously, I am zooming in here in the browser. But instead, I would like to zoom in in our text editor so you can see better what is happening. And at the moment, let's just create the folder. Like I said, we're going to call this folder pages folder. And then within the pages, let's create a few files. And I'm not going to do anything within the actual file because this is going to be very annoying if I'm going to be switching back and forth with the zooming. So why don't we create the files first and then we're going to do all the work that's necessary. The first and foremost, there is going to be home page. So I'm going to say home JS. Then also I would like to create another file, which is going to go by the name of recipes. So this is where we're going to be having our recipes as well as the search. Also, I'd like to create the file of single recipe. So if we're going to be looking for the single recipe JS, and as you can see, they're just basic files that we have already created for our components in the previous tutorials, as well as the project. And last but not least, this is going to be the default page. So the page, if the user is looking for some kind of route in our application that doesn't exist, those are going to be my files within the pages folder. And in this case, I will going to obviously make this smaller so we can actually see what's happening. And by the way, I think we can close this one. We don't need the terminal anymore. And as I'm looking at my tabs, I can see that I have app.js, which is where we're going to be importing all of them. And then you know what? I can close the index uh, HTML. I don't need it anymore. And for all of these, this is going to be very simple. So I'm just going to be setting them up as components and then I'm just going to be importing them here in the app.js. As always, you can create them as a functional components. You can create them as class based components. And I'm going to do just that. I'm going to create them as class based components. But obviously, if you want, you can create as functional components. However, throughout the application, if you see that there's actually makes sense where we are using some kind of state or anything like that with them, then you obviously are going to have to switch. But in my case, I'm just going to go with the class based component. I am using my extension, the snippets. And in this case, I'm just going to say RCC. And you know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we uh, create a heading four? And we're going to say that there's going to be heading four instead of the div. And we're going to have a simple, 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 simple text, which is going to say, I don't know, uh, hello from home page. That's going to be my text. And why don't we do the same thing with a rest of them? And that way, I think this is just going to work a little bit better if we're going to see, first of all, what is happening. OK, so we're going to head over to the recipes. We're going to do the same old spiel. And this is going to be recipes. Then I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to say heading four. And within the heading four, we're going to say hello from recipes page. That's going to be our recipes page. Then we're going to have the single recipe. I know that it might be a little bit redundant what we're doing, but I think this is always the best start where you can at least see that, OK, they are being rendered instead of spending two hours and then understanding that maybe your imports are incorrect or something along those lines. And we're going to do heading four. Then again, we're going to say hello from single recipe. That is going to be my page as well as the last one is going to be the error page. And we can at the moment have all kinds of things here. We can say error page 404. It doesn't matter. But later on, we're obviously going to add some styling and everything is going to look a little bit better. But at the moment, I'm going to say heading four. And within the heading four, let's say hello from error page. And at the moment, let's do this. Since I have all of them exported as default, I can just close them. And we are going to head over to our app JS. And whenever we're going to start working on a page, obviously, we're going to navigate to that specific page. So I can do that. I can also close the sidebar right now. I don't need it. And now we just need to do a bunch of imports. We're saying import and we're looking for whatever name you would like to give. So in this case, I'm just going to say home. And then this is all going to be happening from the pages folder. So within the pages folder, we obviously have the home. That would be number one. Then we have the recipes, then single recipe. And obviously, we also have the default. 
So in this case, what I would like to do is just select two cursors, delete it. Then this is going to be recipes as well as we have an option for the single recipe. Again, same old spiel, single recipe. That's going to be my name as well as the last one is going to be default. Again, you can call this whatever you'd like, but since we already called this default, I'm just going to use the name here. And then what I would like to do is it says, okay, so you don't have the default. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what we have here. And that would be default JS, which by the way, should be there. So it's interesting. Why don't I have it? Hmm. Default at home. Yeah. Well, obviously this is at home should be pages. So yeah, my apologies. This should work right now. And what I would like to do right now is just for this time being, we're going to have the div and now I'd like to render them. All of them, let's say home, then we're going to copy and paste it. Or you know what? Let's just save it for now. This is going to be home page recipes page, as well as we're going to have the single recipe at the moment. And we're going to do single recipe. That's going to be this one. And then we have the last one, which is going to be default page or error page, however you'd like to call it. And successfully, we have all our pages displayed right now at the moment in the app. And as you can see, now we did this part where we just created all the our pages or our components, call them however you would like. And now we're going to be heading over and start working actually with a router where they're going to be displayed depending on which URL we are currently at.